So if you own a website, you're probably wondering how to rank first on Google. Well, this comes down to something called backlinks, and they're one of the most important ranking factors for your website. So today we're gonna to learn what backlinks are, how they work, and how to build high quality links that actually drive more traffic to your site. So if you wanna rank first on Google and grow your website, then keep watching. So backlinks are basically links from other websites to yours. So, you know, for example, if you're reading the blog and you click on a link and it takes you to another website, that's essentially a backlink. And it's pretty much as simple as that. But links kind of act like a voting system. And in Google's algorithm, links like ways to measure how authoritative your website is. So for example, the more votes, aka backlinks you have, the higher your content is gonna rank on Google. But it's not quite as simple as that. And, and not all backlinks were created equal. So for example, if you get a link from a very authoritative site like bbc.com, that's worth a lot more than a website no one's ever heard of, okay? And also relevance counts. So if you have a website about cats, then you want to get a link from some of the most authoritative websites in the cat niche, because that's way more important than getting a link from a website that's not even related to your content. So it's important when you're building links to focus number one on quality and number two on relevance. But do backlinks actually work? Well, the short answer is yes. Okay, so, and there's three reasons for this. Number one, you know, ex SEO experts around the world have been interviewed and they always say that backlinks are one of the most important ranking factors for your website. So if you follow people like Neil Patel or Brian Dean from Backlinko, they always say that backlinks are one of the most important ranking factors. But not just that, hrefs.com have even done a case study on this. And when they looked at over 1 billion pages on the internet, they found that most of them don't get any traffic. And why is that? Well, the number one reason is because they don't have any links to the page. So it's really important to note that Okay, if you're gonna publish content and you're gonna spend that much time investing in it, then you also need to build links to the content too. Because there's no point publishing and praying that your content's gonna get you know, views from Google. You have to build links to it too and you have to promote that content also. And finally, the third reason the backlinks work is that Google have even revealed that out of 200 factors in their algorithm, backlinks are one of the top three. So, you know, this is how important it is. Now, as I said before, not all backlinks are created equal, okay? And there's a good type of way to build links and there's a bad type, okay? So this is what's commonly referred to as white hat and black hat backlinks. And, and white hat links are ethical links that you're building because your content is awesome and people wanna share it. And black hat links are links you build that you're only building because you wanna manipulate Google's algorithm. And it's not particularly because your content is good, it's just because you wanna try and trick the system and rank your content higher. You have to be really careful with this because if you're building links that are black hat, you can get your website penalized. And Google actually, you know, they can de-index your content. They could give you a manual penalty, or you could even face a harsh algorithmic penalty that, you know, basically dwindles your traffic overnight. So it's really important to focus on building white hat links. Google doesn't like people trying to manipulate the system. Instead, they want you to build links because your content is that good and you have amazing content that people wanna share and promote on their own websites. So important to note that some link building methods are better than others. And this comes down again to black hat and white hat techniques, okay? So for example, if you're promoting your content via cold email outreach and you're networking with people, then that's a white hat link building method. And that's one you, you should definitely try yourself. But you should avoid paying for links you should avoid you know, buying software and automating your link building, and you should definitely avoid manipulating the type of words that people link to from their website to yours, which is also known as anchor text, because these are all ways you can get penalized by Google, and they're all black hat link building methods that you should try and avoid. The other thing to note as well is you have to be careful who you link out to. So, you know, if you're linking out to like gambling sites or porn websites or casinos from your website, then, that's gonna reflect really badly on you. And Google's algorithm is gonna detect that you're, you're linking out to spammy websites, and therefore you're not quite an authority or you're doing something unethical on your website. Um, so it's really important to be careful of that. But why does Google use link building as a ranking factor? And why not just look at your content instead? Well, one of the reasons for this is that it's externally validating your content. So it's kind of checking, okay, from neutral, 
Third party sources, is it something that other people are linking to? So for example, very hard to fake high quality link building. And if you're getting links from other sites, it's usually because your content is really good. Um, and also the other thing is that if you have a website that's got really poor content or you're doing something unethical or maybe your website isn't very good for user experience, then that means you won't be able to attain the sort of high quality links that you need. Nobody's going to link to you. So Google's algorithm picks up links and uses it as a ranking factor because it's a powerful way to authenticate and validate that your content is good from external third party sources. So once you start building links to your site, you're going to see the power of the compound effect and this can work both ways. Okay. So you could get a really strong backlink profile with lots of high quality links from really authoritative sources that are highly relevant to your website and therefore you're going to have a really strong backlink profile or you could have a poor backlink profile and this would be a network of spammy websites linking to and from your website and if you do that either way Google can really quickly check your backlink profile with this algorithm when it's crawling your site. Um, the other thing is as well to note that this is an overall picture of the backlinks to your site. So, you know, you want to start building high quality links straight from the start. As soon as you start building links, you don't want to, you know, try and get some spammy links and then figure out, okay, if it doesn't work, let's get some high quality links. Instead, you want to focus on building high quality links straight from the start. And you want to focus on a high quality backlink profile that reflects well on your website. Um, I'd also recommend regularly auditing the backlinks of your site. So you can do that with a tool like ahrefs.com and you can see who's linking to you and who's who you're linking out to. And if you do that, you can get a really strong picture of how authoritative your link profile is and if there's any links you need to disavow. So to sum it up, backlinks are basically like votes from other websites to say that your content is good. And this is one of the most important ranking factors for Google. In fact, if you want to rank your content, you really need to focus on building links, not just publishing content and praying it's going to rank. Um, and the other important factor to focus on is creating high quality, relevant links to your site, because that's what's going to get you results. You, you really want to shy away from the black hat link building techniques that could get your website penalized on Google or even de-indexed completely. So, Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about link building. And if you want more advice, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other link building tutorials.